Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Last episode, we did a bunch of TCG stuff, which is what we've been on, which is what we've been doing, and what we will continue to do for a bit, because I'm addicted to the Hermitcraft TCG, as are many other hermits. Uh, but last episode, we uh, got some cards from Jevin, and then we went up in two matches against Rendog. And honestly, they were both really good matches, but I cut one of them out just because of the length of the video. And I was thinking about it. It's like, you know what? That second match was honestly super good. Like it was really close and it was back and forth and it was just a great match. And I figured nobody would really complain if I uploaded an extra Hermitcraft episode. So today... I'm going to show you the second match, the rematch against Rendog. It was a, it was match two out of a best out of three, and I hope you enjoy it. I don't know, Wells, if you've seen the first turn win decks yet. <laughs> oh, no, I have not. Oh, yeah, there's decks that win on the first turn. Um, we've got FTKs in... Yeah, uh, yeah, we, we've, got, we, we've got sweaty tendril in, nerds, dude, just going off all right. turn one. Uh, <laughs> okay, so... Why'd that work? That's I'm just gonna throw I, up I a tango. Button in this arena, so. <laughs> nice. Cool. Yeah, throw up a, the redstone. Oh, redstone yeah, yeah, onto yeah, said tango. Test, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I'm glad you got to test and it today, Cup. <laughs> yeah. And then I think I'm going to uh, pass it back right there. Man, that tango is is juicy, isn't he? Sheesh. Yeah, it's not bad. I think I, I'm sure I was playing those tangos in my decks, but I, I might have traded them away. <laughs> I feel like I gave them away at some point, and now I regret it. Um. Anyway, uh, my turn. So, Azuma, AFK Azuma, and an AFK Mumbo. Okay, there's a lot of hermits. Yeah, man, you got to maximize on compost and flint of steel, right? You want to empty your hand as fast as possible. It's true. So you don't dump any any unnecessary cards. Um, and with that in mind, I will... Hmm, maybe we'll hold on to that for now. Yeah, we'll just swing in for uh, goodness me. 60 okay. damages. And with that, we pass it in. All right. Uh, so I'm going to throw a farm on the tango. Mm-hmm. And then I hate to do this, but uh -oh. I don't... Oh, this is awful. What you got? <laughs> you got something, you I'm gonna got something play a, nasty. I'm, I'm going to play a Flint and Steel. Okay, that's all right. Discarding... Uh, let's see. Sorry, my chihuahua was cross. Discarding four cards, Eesh. two of which are more Flint and Steels. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's true. It's true. If that's your only hermit, then yeah, it's definitely worth it. For sure. Yeah, indeed. Uh, okay, there we go. And then I'll hit you with the hat trick for 70 and pass it back. Oh, that is true. Chat saying I didn't play a hermit before you started. That is true. It's it's yeah. irrelevant in this matchup because um, there's yep. no bonuses. Since we're all redstone decks anyway, yeah. it really However, make a difference. However, true. Thank, uh, good that you call me out on uh, missing the triggers. That's what we need. That's what we, that's what we love to see around here, man. All right, we need to keep the pressure on then. If Wells is digging for other hermits, let's see if we can get this kill nice and quickly. Cup of tea attack with the roll for poison. Green poison. 100 damages to the tango. Oh, whoops. And I also wanted to compost at the same time. Um, okay. And discarding two. Losing some of that card advantage. Yeah, it's just junk. I want to recycle that into something a little bit better. So you got two coming around? Yep. And a third. We're Ancestral Recalling, Wells. You love to see it, man. Indeed. So satisfying. <laughs> we pass the turn. There we go. All right. Well, I did get another Tango. Okay. So we'll throw him up. Dang it. We'll throw a, a red strawn on him, and then we'll uh, smack you and pass. <laughs> All right. 470. All right. Yep. 470. So now we wonder. Now we wonder. Do we keep up the pressure? Well, if Wells has got TNT, he's going to... Azuma's dead next turn with TNT. But I think we have to get him... Tango's going to die to poison eventually, so we want Tango to die AS, ASAP, basically. And I guess we want to start prepping the next Hermit in case... Oh, I mean, Azuma's probably going to go down, for sure. 
He actually wouldn't die to TNT either. Oh, he wouldn't wait. Patrick does seventy. TNT is sixty. Oh, yeah, so it'd be yeah. one. It'd be, it'd be. You'd have ten HP left. And I think I think uh, TNT is the highest damage effect, right? I don't think there's a bigger damage. I effect. believe yeah. so. Uh, I also. Oh, jeez, man. There's so many of them. So many. Too many mumbos. Jeez. Okay, we will cut the T for a hundred. All right. Uh, including the poison damage, of course. Yep. And with that, we will pass the turn. Whoops. That's the wrong button. <laughs> there we go. Oh, whoopsie. All right. So I'll throw another red stone onto this tango. Yep. And I'll uh, hit you for 70. Pass it back. All right. So that tango's going down. Do we just let him burn, I wonder? And take this... The, take this moment to switch i guess it doesn't really make sense well it kind of does because it means well then wells will sack him next turn and draw but he'll mm -hmm. i guess i'm just trying to get max value out of the poison but I, the poison's done its work already i think do we even want to do this i i, I guess so but not, not until we have another one of, of those, though. So, wait. Well, Tango will kill him next turn, though, if we don't. Hmm. Interesting. If we just let Tango die to the poison uh, and switch out, Tango attacks for 70. It doesn't, just doesn't really do anything, though. Wells could switch him out then to... Wells will attack if we, if we just let Tango, if we just skip our attack here. Because why not? Is that okay, though? Are we okay with that? Hmm. Uh, <sighs> hmm. I never know what to do in, the, in this exact situation. It, it comes up all the time. Okay. I think I'm going to attack with a Chorus Fruit and switch out an Azuma for an Azuma. Okay. So we'll take out Tango, and um, Azuma's gonna gonna have to take some damage on the crack back. Uh, okay, sounds good. Run. Yeah. So it's, this Tango goes yeah, down. There is there is an argument for leaving Tango alive though, and not and not killing him because of the poison. But I don't know if it was relevant in this situation. If he was on twenty, maybe then you do. But all right, all awesome. Right. Positive. Okay, so I'm gonna lead. And take oh, that redstone. That's filthy, dude. And oh, put it here. Oh, that's dirty. That's and dirty. And then... Oh, and uh, this is my active yep. tango. And then I'll hit you for 70 and pass it back. Oh, that's 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 uh, all kinds of dirt, Wells. You hate to see it, man. It It is a little bit. It just thought seized me. Took my best card. I did. <laughs> Only MTG nerds know what, <laughs> know what it's we're true. talking about. It's true. All right, one of these, one of these, and Azuma's going to swing in for goodness me. Doesn't have a rotten cup of tea just yet. Okay. And um, yeah, there's no poison on the board anymore. So we. Will you know what we turn. need is we need some tutors. Ooh. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how that would yeah, be doable would with work. the redstone and all the you know. <laughs> but some tutors would be great. Okay. Maybe you need wishes, uh, so it's back right? To like me. a burning wish you select something out of a sideboard. Yeah, there you go. So I did get. Another uh, hermit. This girl's arrived. He does eight so extra farm. damage to who is it? Builders. Builders. So not relevant. Okay. So it's just an eighty. It's just an eighty damage yep. attack for this matchup. And uh, yeah, I'll hit you for seventy. Pass it back or fifty, I guess, because of the armor. Pass it back. All right. Yep. Well, the slug fest is slugging away. That is for sure. So he's down to what? One sixty. Okay, uh, we are going to okay. attack with a composter, discarding okay. one card, because that's all we've got in our hand, to draw two, and okay. dealing 60, goodness me, damage to Tango. And uh, hoping right. that lead actually did some some pretty some pretty good damage, I'm not going to lie. Jeez. I always underestimate the power of lead. I, I don't think it's a very good card, but I don't know, maybe I'm underestimating it. It, it has its moments. It's been very good here. It's either really good or completely useless. <laughs> it's one or the other. Plus you know? uh, All right. So first thing we're going to do is mm -hmm. we're going to play a Curse of Vanishing on that Iron Armor. Ouch. Nice. Okay. Iron Armor Get down. Get that off of there. 
And then, um, let's see, you got one prize. Nah. And then I think I'm just going to hit you for 70 again. Mm -hmm. Bring you down to uh, 90. We can still afford to give Wells a victory point here. We're still one card up on him on that. So I'm not, I'm not too fussed about sacking Azuma here, actually, come to think about it. Uh, we kind of have to, I think. Because we, we just don't want to lose tempo here. But the problem is we're not poisoning, which is unfortunate. We might need to switch with this then. And maybe switch into... Okay, we're going to play an Etho. Okay. And we will... Well, Tango is... He's doing 70. Wells will have to have something on top of the 70. Using a TNT to kill the Azuma who will be on 20 feels like a decent trade anyway. I don't mind uh, Wells burning a card to kill Azuma here, actually. Yeah, so I'm just going to attack for 60 and pass. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, we don't mind Wells burning like a really, really good card here. Um, wait, is this... I don't know if this should be in the deck, right, guys? From the handicap, I think I missed this one. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, yeah, I I'm pretty sure I missed this one. Judge, <laughs> banned. <laughs> uh, what I what I can do is just uh, put it aside and draw another card. Would that be okay? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's just a, yeah, it's I'm a rare that. that shouldn't be in the deck. All right, I'll, it's a really I'll good give one too. Card, I'll give you All right, thank card. you. Sorry about you that. Good? I rushed through the handicapping, you know. Yeah, it's all good. You good to go? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Hmm. Now the question is, what do? <laughs> what do? Let's see, you're on 60. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to go for just hat trick and pass. Okay. 70. I don't love it, but it's it's what I got. You got to do what you got to do here, man. Yep. Jeez, oh, man. Okay. The draws have not been particularly kind to me on this matchup. Do we keep the tempo up? Is my question, chat. Hmm. I kind of want a slot, though, on the board. So I kind of want Azuma to die. Does that mean... <laughs> I mean, I hate to say it, you know, but... Yeah. Wait, I, somebody I clip that. Clip that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I want to zoom her out of here, man. We're just going to attack for 60. All right. All right. The slug face continues past the turn. Indeed. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, tag in Iskall. Oh, and pass it back. interesting. All right. Wells did not take the trade there. Curious. No. Curious. No, I did not. Very curious. Hmm. I have a pran, as Iskol would say. Sorry, guys. Just had to let, let the fog horns off. We just got 15 gifted subs to the face. So, you know. Oh, Make that excellent. 20. Jeez, guys. Thank you so much, everybody. That's outrageous. Thank you. Pendeloft here. And Aaron and Hanana. Thank you, guys. Um, okay. Iskal's in. Zoom is on 20. Man, I am struggling with the redstone, though. Uh, Cub. Mm -hmm. If I kill my own hermit, does Wells get a victory point? If you kill your yes. own hermit. <laughs> yeah. That, that yeah. would be the way that you it would, would. work in the Pokemon trading that, card though. game. <laughs> Well, if you use like a TNT oh, yeah, to yeah, knock yeah. yourself out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, in the Pokemon yep. trading card game, if, if your Pokemon is knocked out, whether it was as a result of right. your own effect or your opponent, you would still get a prize card. So, Well, why won't you let me big brain? Yeah, you did why? get a, You would get a prize card in that case, Wells, yeah. Dang it. Okay. Yep. That's fair enough. Annoying. That would be a, a pretty <laughs> insane strategy, though, oh, if yeah. it actually worked. Well, every now and then it would just, it would do some, uh, do a something, you know? Yeah. Um, okay. Well, with that in mind, un it's unfortunate. 
Uh, I'll give Etho some armor. And okay. we will attack Eskal with the Chorus Freight with the Azuma. So 60 to Eskal. Or is that extra damage? No, no extra damage there. And the Chorus Freight will switch out the very hurt Azuma into the armored up Etho. Very well. No okay. redstone on that Etho, though, which uh, yeah, you do right, hate to see. Pile. Can you do how much, uh, Ren? 60? 60. So, okay. And uh, with that, we pass right. the turn. Okay. Well, I'm going to throw an impulse up. Okay. And I'm going to throw uh, a redstone on him. Yes. Is it, are one of those redstones... Oh, no, you haven't got a victory point yet. Yeah, and then you know what? I think I'm actually going to swap out Iskall and swap in this impulse. Dang it. Okay. And pass it back to you. Ah, oh, Wells is going for the boomer. He sees He sees we have no redstone on our side, so it's time to uh, push the advantage here. I respect it, Wells. I'm not happy about it, but I respect it. Uh, what do we do here, guys? Hmm. I, I mean, I guess we just do that, right? While we can. Yeah, we're just going to 60 Iskull. That's okay. our impulse. Or uh, impulse. Yeah, Etho will, right. won't take anything from the armor there. All right. We know that Wells plays there Curse of Vanishing, so that's, I want a TNT while the armor's still hot. That's fair. Pass the turn. All right. Well, we're going to throw another Tango on the bench. Right. Did, did you change uh, uh, throw another Wells? Or? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I got him already. But should it have been Impulse, right? Because he's the active. Oh! The Oops. Active Good call. Yeah. Uh, He goes up there. And... I think he was... Was this call I think he was 230. I, that sounds right. Oh. There we go. Perhaps. Okay, okay. Think, so... Yeah, right. yeah. uh, We're just going to go ahead and Boomer for 130. And pass it back. Yeah, boomer for 130 minus 20, or is that with the 20? Or, well, it's, oh, it's, it's 130 yeah. after the damage reduction. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha, so that's... Uh, 130s... Alright, Etho taking some, some pain. We'll try and make him feel a bit better with some red stone, and we'll splash of healing everybody. Okay. Uh, and we will swing in for oh snappers, fifty damage to impulse. All right. Yeah, we got to kill the impulse as fast as possible. He's uh, boomer mode engaged. He is a threat, no doubt With about it. Two tangos in play too, so the pain train has mm -hmm. started rolling. So it's, it's true. How much damage here was? Uh -huh. Run? Uh, 50, 50, I believe. Yeah, 50. Yeah, 50. 50. That lead, dude. That, that lead did, did some serious work in this game because I didn't draw redstone. So, like, that was, uh, that was something. <laughs> Stupid yeah, lead. Yeah, it did some, it did some good stuff. Uh, okay, so back to me. Yep. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and boomer and pass. So, another 130. Okay. So, I think that brings your etho down to 40. Yep. Right, Etho on 40. This feels like a moment that Etho is going to have to get sacked, I'm afraid, guys. Huh. Now the question is, do we do we roll the dice? Do we roll the dice? Hmm. That would mean sacking this. But it would mean inevitability on impulse, right? I don't think we have a choice, you know. I really don't. Although, hmm. So we swing in for fifty. Impulse down to ninety. Impulse kills Etho. We have to deal 90 damage to him next turn, which would mean we'd have to swing with this Azuma and and uh, roll for poison. Yep. Hmm. Win the win the coin flip. So there's a coin flip there, but there's also another coin flip here, right? Hmm. I think the second uh, the latter coin flip is the safer route. It also gives us a chance to prep a mumbo. 
Uh, yeah. Okay, so we will give Mumbo some redstone. We'll swing in for 50 on the impulse. Okay. Down to 90. And we'll pass the turn. All right. Now, this is an interesting one. Hmm. And you'll see why momentarily. Okay, I'm curious. I'm going to play a chest. Okay. Which lets me get back something from my discard yep. pile. You're welcome to take a peek at my discard pile here. No. You, you, since all the cards have been played anyway. Well, that's what I've but been I arguing, gotta... but I've been told that you're not allowed to look in the other player's discard pile. Yeah, you, okay. yeah typically you're not allowed well, that... to, yeah. Even though it's okay. all known well, information, I'll just, but you know. I'll, <laughs> I'll just tell you for the value of entertainment. Okay. <laughs> I have a couple options. I have right, uh, a flint and steel as an option. Yep. And I've got one card in my hand, so that would be, you know, draw three further into my deck, which is pretty good. But then I also have this bow here. Mm -hmm. So it's an interesting question. Do I go farther into the deck, or do I draw the bow so I can knock out Exuma? Well, the bow draws you a card, right? That's just sitting on your bench. That is true. That is true. Yeah. It would get me a prize card. So yeah, you know what? That's a that's a good call. I'll go ahead and I'll take the bow. Yeah, I think that's right. You, you can't that's right play cool. this, this turn, right? Because you already played the... Uh, Correct. Yeah, Correct. yeah. I have to wait till next you gotta turn. you got to take a turn off for that, but... Um, but, but yeah, if, that's, that's decent. If Ren had okay. a healing, then he could heal Asuma, so the bow would not kill him. So there's... That is true. Yeah, that that is would be thing. unfortunate, but uh, it's a... Actually... Nah, you know what? I'm going... I'm, I'm going to go with the, uh, the flint and steel, I think. I think that's the better play. It's definitely... Um, you see reasons. more cards that way, for sure. Yeah. 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 Um, okay, and then we'll uh, we'll boomer. We'll take okay. out Etho. Etho goes down. Pass All right, Etho down. Wills gets a point onto the board. Yep. And then it gets Etho did some card. good work, though. Good job, Etho. <clears throat> uh, chat's saying that we forgot Etho's armor last boomer attack. It doesn't matter, though, right? He would have died anyway. Yeah. No, it was it was it calculated. Was calculated. Oh, it was? Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it, it was 130 matter. damage. The, it would have been one. It would have been 150 yeah. without. The yeah, armor. the boomer damage is like ridiculous. So, it's 150, 150 when you got two tangos on the board. So, yep. yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, it was accounted for. Don't you worry. Valkavinia says hello, Wells. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hello. And is your go? All right. Um. Oh, I needed to bring somebody in, of course. Um, well, I was prepping the Mumbo for this, but I wonder... I wonder if we go with... Oh, man, we're rolling dice now, left, right, and center. Do we do we bring in the Azuma and roll the dice for a cup of tea? Because Mumbo's just going to do 50. Um, yeah. You know what? I'm going to bring the Azuma in. Okay. And we will play... An AFK Tango. We will attack with the Zuma, roll cup of tea. And this is really what we were prepping for anyway. This was the coin flip that we were the safer coin this flip. This is a we super for. important coin yep. flip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a big one. There's an Enderman in here, by the way, but it's fine. Uh, okay. Uh, and. Oh! Hey! That stings. That's huge. That's, that is that huge. That stings bad. That stings real bad. That actually means if I had gone if I had gone with the bow, yeah. I could have won the game yeah. right here. That's yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, funny. hubris and all that. Well, actually, it's yeah, it's yeah, fine. Right. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, I could knock out Exuma and I could yeah, yeah. take an uh, yep, yep, yep. That would have yep. won me the game. All right. Well, that's all right though. We passed. I made it. my decision. It's all good. It ain't over. Till uh, okay. It's over. So we'll throw a, a redstone onto this tango. Yes. Um. I think it still might be. Yeah, I guess we'll throw a dock up yeah. if I can reach. Okay. There you go. And then we'll uh, flint and steel. Okay, flint and steel. Yep. So just start checking, discard the hand. So draw three. One, two. And I'm hoping. Three. Okay. Okay, that's something. Okay. Um. All right. So then we'll boomer to take out Exuma. Okay. And pass it back. Exuma down. And a card. Uh, hold on. There's one more thingy here. What's this thingy? Ninety health. 
All right, who are we swinging in here now? I guess it has to be the... Who's active? Impulse is active. Hmm. Well, we can't risk things now. We're gonna have to bring the Mumbo in, I think. Uh, man, that's just so much excess excessive damage, though. Which is unfortunate, but we don't really want to bring in anything else, I think. Alright, so Mumbo comes in. Um, and I guess we take out the Impulse with uh, Chuff to Bits. Yep. Okay. okay. Yep. Yeah, we take out the Impulse. Point to Ren. Ties it up. Point to Ren and a card. And we pass the turn. Let's see if those flint and steel okay. paid off. So this uh, impulse is dead. Yeah, right? impulse down. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's throw those into the discard pile. Very good. Uh, so I think we bring in Iskull. I think okay. that's the smartest Iskull choice. Back. Yep. Yeah, he's doing 80 damage. I he's th doing he's doing some big damage. I think we'll throw another redstone onto... Actually, let's put this redstone onto Doc. Okay. Up there. And then uh, we'll hit you for 80 and pass it back. Any with bird poop? No incompatibilities? No. Okay, so 80. All right. The slug face continues. I think these decks are really well matched. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's actually been two really solid games. Yeah, redstone be redstone. And farm, yeah, right? exactly. Farm, but, yeah. <laughs> it's just straight up uh, mid-game smashing, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mid-range smashing, should I say? Um, okay, let's let's figure this out. So, are we ahead in the damage race? Yes, uh, at the moment you are. Yeah, yeah, we are. Because you're you're doing. We're doing. We're doing well, you need, you would need another. Yeah, well, you would need another uh, redstone to do 80. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So assuming I have another redstone, so you you go down to uh, 140, then I go down to 110. No, you win, though, because then you go down to 50, I go down to... No, I win. Yeah, I, I, yep. I win the race. Not by much, but... Yep. But you do. But I do in the end. Okay, we'll put a tango down, give Mumbo the redstone he wants, swing in for... 80 and I will 20 uh, I'll do uh, 40 damage to, to the AFK Tango okay with the bow okay 20 it's a little spooky it's 50 right on Iskall yep it's a little spooky no doubt about it or 80 damage to Iskall right uh it's 50 right because the bow is only for AFK Oh, sorry, oh, yeah, you had but another, I gave you had another item. My yeah, bad. I gave yeah. him another bit of redstone. Yeah, yeah. so it goes to so, uh, 150. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And pass it in. All right. So, uh, I don't actually have a whole lot that I can do here. I guess I'll throw a farm energy onto this tango. Okay. Uh, and then you're at what, 190? Oof, this is a little a little spooky, but yeah, we're just gonna bird poop and uh, pass. Okay. Hope for the best. Might have to be swapping out here pretty soon, but I guess we'll find out. Um, yeah, this is getting this is getting tight now, man. Wait, what's this? Is this tango? This is a fresh tango, right? This one. Uh, the one on the bottom is a fresh tango. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this one on your side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fresh tango. Okay. Red, hmm. Do we want to go with the 80 damage or the 70 damage but 300 life? This is, this is the, the conundrum. The Mumbo does a little bit more damage. I guess it doesn't matter that much. Um, I guess the 300 life maybe ma ma matters more. So we'll prep that tango and uh, we'll swing in for 80. Wait, okay. hold on. So we just... So all Wells needs is a TNT or just any weapon to to kill. I guess we just have to roll that dice. Yeah, we'll swing in for 80. Okay. okay. 
Well, you know what they're saying. Make them have it. Yep. Make them have it. This is the force of will test right have here. It. Have you got the force? Yep. Well, I guess we'll find out. We're force checking wells, MTG guys. Dang it! He's got the force! The force is with me. <laughs> yep. The force is with me. GG, GG Ren. GG, that was great. That was a great game. Those are some, like, really solid games. Yeah, man, that was awesome. GG. Well done, guys. That was a good one. That was a really good one. Yeah, that was a great one. Yeah, I had an extra Whew. chest uh, rare, so when I saw it, I was like, E. <laughs> ah, so that's gotcha. a good one. Uh, that one's maybe a little too good. Oh, wait, the chest is a rare. Yes. Oh, oh, did you not I, uh, count it as a rare? <laughs> no, I didn't, because it doesn't have a gold border. <laughs> oh, it doesn't? Oh, no, it doesn't. No. Yeah, you're right. That's a misprint. So it's rare, but it doesn't have a gold border. It's a rare and that's misprint. What, okay. Ah, oh, man. That's uh, that's a little rough. Okay. Yeah, so I was cheating this whole no, time. No, you weren't. We, we both missed that one. <laughs> Let's just take a peek and see. I just want to get one effect items pack. Right here. Okay, they do exist. So we toss three in. See what we get. Uh, let's just take a peek here. We did get uh, a totem of undying. Okay, that's pretty good. Splash potion of poison. That's also pretty solid. Curse of Vanishing, a bow and a composter, and another TNT. That's honestly like a pretty solid uh, pack. We got an ultra rare and a rare. And then I think I'm going to save my other two tokens for uh, more effect packs, because that's that's kind of what I really need is, is more items. So there you have it. Two matches against Rendog, one last episode, one this episode, a win in both, and both honestly really good matches. Just as a reminder, we were playing with a rule that Rendog uh, wanted to try out, which was that uh, each deck had to have the same number of rares and uh, ultra rares, so that the decks were roughly the same in power level, which I think is really good. Like, I think I thought that was a great rule because I know Rendog has been playing the TCG a lot and he is an experienced TCG player just in like general, like in real life. And we were able to get two wins, which shows that I think, uh, you know, even as a fairly new player uh, using a relatively, uh, you know, basic deck with only a handful of errors, we were able to still have two really good matches. So I like it a lot. Uh, but anyway, guys, I wanted to show you that one. This is just kind of an extra episode, as I said. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Links in the description below. So check that out as well. Consider checking out my Patreon if you want to continue supporting uh, the channel and helping make sure that these Hermitcraft episodes can keep coming. But other than that, my friends, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.